All right, I'm going to attempt to make a gunshot sound by smacking this chair in my editing suite with a sandal. I'm going to beat the crap out of it a couple times and get a couple of nice recordings of it. Then I'm going to take this lovely boot and I'm going to smack the other chair because it's a little plusher and the boot's a little heavier so I can get a low tone. I did a double smack and edited it with a simple program. <laughs> then I put the two together. Don't try this at home, but this was the quickest, cheapest, and easiest way that I could figure out how to make a flame come out of the gun barrel without using any CGI. We don't know how to use CGI. I cut off the wicks from some firecrackers, took a pair of scissors and whittled it out next to the wick, and inserted the fuse into there. It's basically an electronic fuse. All right, so obviously there's a firecracker down there with a rocket primer on there. Liza created a circuit in here connected to an RC battery. You can ignore this because that's going to be, she's got to put some kind of a charger to charge the battery. It looks dirty and grungy, but once we're sure that it works, the button will fire the firecracker, sending a muzzle flash out of the whole thing, making it look super awesome. And then once we know it works, we'll close it back up, tighten it all up, and make it look awesome. So go ahead and fire it, buddy. Let's go. Here's what it sounds like when you put the two together. This is the sound that I created in the computer and the actual sound of the firecracker exploding. <laughs>